Alrighty, Slappers, we're about 10 minutes away from the drop of the puck here this evening. Columbus Clappers taking on the Miami Vice here in the semifinals of the professional playoffs here in SPL. Let's take a look at the bracket, get better acquainted with the trip that both of these teams have taken to get to the spot that they're at. Miami Vice, first round up against the St. Cloud Storm, took it in a two-game sweep. They asserted dominance over the eighth seed, and they have found their spot here in the semifinals as they take on the Columbus Clampers, which had a much steeper road as they were in the middle of the pack. They ended fourth in the professional division. They played the fifth seed, which were the Maryland Ice Orcas. Ice Orcas not at the peak of their condition, but they did put up a formidable fight. It went all three games, but the Columbus Clappers ended out on top, and they find themselves matched up against some of the best. The best of the best here in SPL going to be facing off one against another here in about nine minutes. At drop of the puck is at 10 o'clock, so you got a little bit of time to grab some popcorn, grab some chicken bites, whatever you might enjoy. Cheese sticks? I don't know. I'm not your dad. I don't know your, your taste. But uh, go get some something to drink, something to eat. It's going to be a good one here in a best of three series. We're going to find out which one of these teams is going to be taking on the Toronto Penguins in the finals of the Slapshot Premier League's professional playoffs. And without further ado, let's get to know these players a little bit more. At the end of the season, a lot of these players at the top of the scorer sheet in most of the, um, most of the categories. Leading scorer tonight, Rodeo, second place, 62 goals, 101 points on the season for the Miami Vice. He's up on the top, rivaled up against Ocelot from the Columbus Clappers. Columbus Clappers in third with that um, title, 54 goals on the season, 77 points. They've met their match. Let's see how they can handle it. Of course, you know, others of the like, Kyler down there in 10th place in the total of goals for the Miami Vice making a name for himself in SPL, and he's continued to do so time and time again. Looking at the all-time SPL scorers, nothing but big names up there on the board. Meat Sale, Rodeo, Ocelot, Panarin, and Tyron K all playing tonight. So it'll be interesting to see some of the best of the best jump into the ring. These are total amounts of points, goals, assists of the like. Both count towards these total sums. Meat Sale leads the league throughout it in its, its entirety through both games. Meat Sale has found 555 points on his 100 regular season games played. Rodeo starting his 100th game tonight with 529 total SPL points on his career. We'll see if he's able to tally on a couple here tonight and help his team advance into the finals of SPL's postseason. Of course, it's not gonna be easy taking on the likes of Tyrant K, Panarin, Ocelot, all of them very formidable opponents, and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a difficult uphill battle, but um, if anyone's gonna do it, it's going to be the Miami Vice. And if it's not the Vice, we'll see if the Penguins are able to dethrone them. But tonight, I think the Clappers have found their match. They have found their maker. Let's see if they can tally up to the Titans themselves as we continue on here tonight. And I think it's going to be a great match. It's going to be a tight one. Um, I have no idea who's going to win. If I was a betting man, I wouldn't be tonight. Um, it's going to be very difficult. I don't know what's going to happen out there. But it's going to be good slap shot nonetheless. As long as the servers don't hate us. So, you know, what it's all about. But, hope everyone out there in the chat is ready to rock, ready to roll. About five more minutes. Take it down to the ice level and see how it goes. A lot of big names up there on the screen. You know, giving you some time to digest what's being shown. But of course, you know, there are three three loopholes. Panther, one of the best slapshot rebound players we've seen in his time. He's a shoo-in for MVP this season. We're going to let that up to the votes of the captains to influence the decision of that award at the end of the season. Panther, one of the top dogs. Wallstern, K-Spire, not playing tonight. But they have shown themselves worthy of being in the top 10 of SBL's all-time Major League points. That being said, let's take a look at our saves. Panarin. One of the top dogs, fourth place, only followed up by Lemon Bond, Super Duper Kyle, and Blades. Blades finishing off his final season in SPL. He has retired, and I wish him a happy retirement as he finished his last season in the professional division. 100 rounded out saves is a nice number, and a good way to end off his career. And what a, what, a, what a season. It's been a wild ride, but here we are at the end of it, looking to tie it up and see what's in the bag at the end of the day. Super Duper Kyle for the St. Cloud Storm, of course, being in second, two points behind Blades. Lemon Bond for the Toronto Penguins in third place with 91 saves on the season. And then, of course, the one and only Panarin. 
the top possession time leader. He has 80 saves on the season, and he's played that 200-foot game quite nicely. He's probably going to be controlling the pace for the most part for the Columbus Clappers breakouts and such of the like. Of course, you know, that's what it's all about. But to take a look at this season's point getters, Panther on the top, followed up by Rodeo Kyler, both of them from the Miami Vice. Meat sale, 7th place in points on the season. He's going to be out there on the ice as well for the Miami Vice. I think it's going to be a lot of offense and a lot of defense. Kyler's going to have to stand tall in that. Panarin's going to have to do the same. Stop the shots that he needs to save and keep his team in the game. I think that's what is going to be the decision maker between these two teams is um, just how well they can play defense. If the thirds are going to be feeling it tonight, you know, if they're on the ball, they're rolling with it, I think that either one of these teams can beat each other in a best of three. That's why we go three games in one game. One one team could be feeling it. They could be just popping shots on. Everything seems to be going in. But whenever that second game hits, it's a completely different atmosphere. You know, the score has been reset. Everyone's mind has recalibrated. And um, it's going to be an interesting one tonight. We'll see how this best of three goes. If it'll be a sweep, if it won't be, who's to say? I think it's going all three games. I don't know about you at home, but... Pretty sure it's going to be going all three. Panarin, Ocelot, Tyron K already in the lobby. They're out there warming up on the ice. We're going to just hope the lag stays at bay. There's been reports of a lot of lag in the area. So um, we're going to see how this goes. Maybe we'll play on central servers. Maybe we won't. Who's to say? But uh, let's take a look at the rosters. Columbus Clappers finish the season in fourth place in a three-way tie with the Yosemite Grizzlies and the Maryland Ice Orcas, all of them finishing 11-7. and seven. And the only reason the Yosemite Grizzlies got to have that third-place spot is because they swept... The Columbus Clappers, two games to none in their head-to-head. -head. And the Columbus Clappers went 1-1 one one against the Ice Orcas. So it went down to point differential and kind of worked out. Columbus Clappers played the Maryland Ice Orcas. And here we are. We've seen the victory before us with the roster of Panarin, Ocelot, Tyrant K, and T. And for the Miami Vice, they finished 15-2-1 with 31 standing points. They won the Lucha Trophy at the end of this regular season with the roster of Rodeo, Kyler, Meatsale, and Rambone. Rambone being one of the most formidable West players. He's wanted to play and elected to play more of a fourth role on the team. So he more so a sub, but um, you know, that's what he wants. Miami Vice were willing to give that to him. So here we are with those rosters. Looking at the more in-depth statistics from both of these sides of the ice. Osloth leading his team in goals. Rodeo re leading his respective team in goals as well. Um, most of the team, both of these teams really just sticking to their three main guns to start off their games. You know, Rodeo, Kyler, um, well, Rodeo and Meatsill both playing 18 of the games. Kyler sitting out two in spot for T. Um, T playing on both of these teams. Not sure if he's going to be in the house tonight. I know he's warming up in a few pub matches. I'm not sure if he's going to play tonight. But, um, T played for both sides of the ice. Hit both sides of the coin. Had a lot of saves for the Columbus Clappers and a lot of saves for the Miami Vice. Both teams he played two games for and um, only a one save difference. Been a wild ride throughout the regular season for him and uh, we're going to look forward onto season three to see what he has in store for us. But Ocelot, Tyron K, Panarin taking on the Miami Vice, Rodeo, Kyler, and Meat Sale. We're going to see how this one plays out. 45 minutes of slap shot. All ice time, all action. All guns, all glory. And whenever all six players are ready, we'll jump down to the ice level and get this one underway. But until then, you know, I'm looking at Ocelot. If he needs, if they need this win, I think Ocelot is going to hit his shots. You know, as long as he doesn't hit the post, he gets his shots on target. You know, he gets Kyler out of wares for a little bit. You know, beat him on the short side once or twice on the far side the other few times. You know, Ocelot, if he hits his shots, he scores. That's what it comes down to. He's got a 42.9 shot percentage. Um... Not the highest in the lobby, but the highest on his team. The only man with a higher shot percentage um, on the Columbus Clappers is, of course, T. One shot, one goal for the Columbus Clappers, and nobody can get better than that. But um, for the other side of the ice, Kyler, 42 goals, 79 shots. He's got a 53.2 shot percentage. Let's see if he can keep that one up coming into tonight's matchup. But um, one stat you might want to turn your attention to is the possession time. Panarin, Kyler, both playing their three role. They're leading their team's in possession time, but Panarin, he just has the puck on a stick more than any other player in the professional division. I think he's going to be, you know, the pacemaker here in tonight's game. He's got the control to do it, and I think we're going to have to keep his, our eyes on him as he starts the breakouts for the Columbus Clappers. But all six players are ready in the lobby. We're going to take this one down to the ice level for the puck drop here between the Columbus Clappers and the Miami Vice. 
Thomas Clappers on the right side in the navy blue and the Miami Vice on the left side in the pink. The puck is dropped. The game is on. In 15 minutes, the slap shot is underway and Meat Sale immediately finds himself a goal. Takes it down the near side, steals it away from Panarin, and what a shot from the point. Gets the Miami Vice their first goal of the game. There, top side looking to get this one down low. Here's Kyler. Back behind his own cage, sent top side. Meatsail there looking for the pass, but Ocelot with a nice pickoff. Looks for Tired K. Shoots, hits the near side post. Ocelot keeping this one in the wheelhouse out to the top side point. And here's Kyler getting a hand on this one. Takes it back into his own possession. Kyler taking this time down the near side board. Stopped up by Tyron K. Tyron K with a nice stick check on him, but Kyler keeps on the puck like the pancake to the ceiling this morning when I tried cooking. Meatsail, Rodeo scores! What a goal! Miami Vice have made it 2 nothing. A good dish right to the tape, right to Rodeo. Beautiful shot into the back of the netting. And the servers not looking too great. <laughs> Ocelot here taking this one down the near side, off the back end. Shooting that one on target. Nice stick check by Tyron K, but not able to get Kyler out of the slot. Aaron taking this one back into his own neutral zone, trying to get this one out and about. Trying to pull up Discord. I forgot I had voice chats available for this match. Here's Ocelot down low, back out to the point. Kyler with a nice turnover, shot off the near side and wide. Here's Panarin getting a touch on this one. Takes this one towards the top side of the ice, taking his time. Off the near side, not able to get that one off the chrome dome. Ocelot not able to take possession. Meat still sailing, sailing that one back over to Kyler. Kyler off the back end, throws this one up to Rodeo. Off the back end, throws it down to Meat Sale. Out to Rodeo. Top side point, looking to take this one downtown. Panarin, stick battle up against Meat Sale, his former teammate, the former Columbus Clapper Meat Sale. Aaron, taking his time at the near side faceoff dot goes with a dump out goes off meat sales top of the stick trying to get this one down the near side boards but not able to beat him out rodeo picking up where meat sale left off forcing this one into the clappers territory ocelot getting a touch on this one trying to get this one out and, and about iron k forced in by rodeo meat sale out to the point finds rodeo yet again off the back end down in the corner trying to pop this one out in front off the back end it's ocelot panarin down towards the near side trying to get this one out of the zone finds his way down to tyrant k let's take a listen in on the columbus clappers comms I see it, I'll see it. I'm across. Nice try. Oh, middle. Oh, nice try. Good pressure though, just had to keep that up. Yep. They're double teaming you. Yep, I'm good. Nice try. Oh, nice try. I'm around if you need. Middle or boards? Boards, I'll see. I'm up in the middle. Uh, oh my goodness, push it. Rap. Fuck, that wasn't great. I see it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to hit you, I'll see. All right. Oh fuck, I choked. Nice time. Fuck. Well, that being said, the Miami Vice have found a way to steal it off the stick of Panarin, and they make it 3 0 with 2.04 remaining in this first period of action. Um, it is very unfortunate for the Columbus Clappers. Let's see if they can retaliate before we hit the end of the first. Meat Sale back on his own end, taking this one off the forehand. Down in his own near side corner, gets this one out to Rodeo off the tip of the stick, trying to hand it off to Kyler. Able to do that one. Ocelot trying to make his life difficult. Down to the near side, Kyler finds Rodeo. Down the near side board, shot towards the net, goes off the backside and wide. Here's Panarin getting a hand towards the top side of the ice. Dangle is down Broad Street, down the near side, stolen away by Kyler off the back end, finds Meat Sale. Meat Sale here off the forehand, hits Ocelot in the slot. Ocelot with a shot just wide off the far side. Kyler. Getting a hand into the top side. Gets this one out along the boards. Rodeo pinches that one up at the point. Gets it down into the corner. And Aaron with a nice stick check. Gets this one free. Shot down. Scores! And the Columbus Clappers have found their first goal of the game. 119 remaining. And Aaron snipes it. Right past Kyler. Nice stick bump by Tyron K. Generates that scoring opportunity. And the Miami Vice looking to answer this one sooner rather than later. Tyron K in the corner. Kyler down towards the near side. Trying to get this one free. Tyron K not giving up on the play. Kyler steals it away towards the top side off the forehand. Looking for the passing option. Finds his way down to meat sale off the back end. Down in the corner. Trying to swing this one down near side. Panarin reads it beautifully. Steals that one away with a minute remaining here in the first period of action. Two goals is the difference. Panarin with a shot. Nice save by meat sale. Blocker down to the near side. Goes off Tyron K on the pass. Attempt to 
to Rodeo. Aaron down, trying to get this one free, using the uh, the netting as a little barrier. Ocelot with a pass attempt goes off Meatsail, back to Ocelot. Meatsail steals it away down the near side, trying to drive on off the back end, finds his way topside. Rodeo, give and go over to Kyler. Shot off of Ocelot, down to the near side. Meatsail trying to drive its way past and Aaron goes off Ocelot. Able to get enough stick on that one to keep that one from connecting. Ocelot down the near side. 26 seconds remaining here in this first period of action. Rodeo here looking for the forehand shot. Off the post. Almost able to make it 4-1, to one, but the post saves the day. Panarin with a long pass stolen away by Kyler. Shooting off the far side and wide. Panarin off meet sale out to the far side. Ocelot trying to get a touch on this one. Tyrant K tries to keep this one wide. Ocelot along the far side boards. Battled up against Rodeo. Finds his way over to Panarin. Here's Panarin with it now off the back end with three seconds remaining. That's going to do it for the first period of action. Let's take a look at the tail by the numbers. Miami at three and the Clappers at one. Did I mess up or did they mess up? Hang on. We're fixing this now. This is not going to be a later problem. Did I switch this without removing? These are the things. This stream was going so well until this point. See that clappers? No. Oh, that's pretty neat. Cool. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. This is what Slapshot's all about, right? Live scene editing. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. There's the actual stats. Let's take it back down to the ice level. All right. Second period. About to get underway between the Miami Vice and the Columbus Clappers. Clappers on the right side in their blue. And the, and the Vice on the left side in their pink. Buck has dropped. The game is on. Down to the Clappers zone. Panarin taking charge. Off the back end. Shoots this one out. Goes over. Kyler not quite able to get a hand on that one. Was Tyrant K. Back out to the near side point. Here's Panarin off the back end. Straddling the red line towards the top side of the ice. Retrieves this one back into his own end. Meat sale there on the offensive push for the Miami Vice. Steals this one away off Ocelot. Over to Rodeo. Not able to connect on that one. Panarin down the near side. Rodeo getting a touch on this one off the back end. Swinging this one out to the point. Meat sale trying to get this one through traffic. Pop stores the net, but not on target. Rodeo, top side corner, trying to get this one through. Ocelot there, trying to make him stumble as well. Ocelot off the back end, gets this one out of the zone. Tyron K, the first man back for this one for the Columbus Clappers. Out to the near side point. Shot off the side of the cage. Tyron K forcing that one out the near side. Kyler, meat sale, top side. Leaking this one out for the Vice. Able to find Rodeo. Forehand shot saved by Panarin. 409 remaining here in the second period of action. There's Ocelot down the near side. The Panarin back behind his own cage. Let's listen on the Columbus Clappers comms. Let's see what they got to say. Alright. See you all soon. Yeah. Do you nice. 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 Oh. Nice. 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 Goes past Panarin over to Ocelot. Ocelot here with a forehand dime. Looking to take this one down to Tyron K. Able to find it on his forehand. Out to the near side point. Panarin with a backhand. Shot saved by Rodeo. Here's Kyler down the near side. Trying to take this one out off the backhand. Gets this one down the length of the ice. Just out of the reach of Rodeo. Panarin taking his time down towards the near side. Off the forehand. Rodeo there with a nice stick check. Tries to get that one through the target. Not able to get past Panarin. Ocelot lost the meat sale. Top side out. Rodeo with a better touch on that one. Tyron K. Taking this one back for the Columbus Clappers. 313 remaining here in the second period of action. Have a one goal difference. Kyler looking to take this one out. Shooting saved by Panarin. Panarin down towards the near side. Taking this one towards the top. Stride for stride. Takes this one down the ice. Kyler trying to get a hand on this one. T Tyron K with an opportunity to wrap that one out and around. But Rodeo steals that one away. Gets rid of all that hope. Kyler with a nice save off the forehand. Tyron K keeps it alive. Also with a shot saved by Meat Sale. Aaron taking this one back into his own zone. Throws it off the glass. Looking for Tyron K. Finds him off the hip. Rodeo steals it away. Shooting. Scores! The Miami Vice make it 4-2. With 2.42 remaining. The pass out to Tyron K. Does not find his mark. But Rodeo has found his. Two goals the difference yet again. And the Clappers have their hole to dig themselves. Hey, I got their work cut out for them. That's what I was going to go with. What my brain said otherwise. Aaron down towards the near side. Trying to keep this one in the corner. Meat sale hounding him. 
Trying to get this puck for the Miami Vice, but not able to find it. Panarin taking his time down towards the near side. Finds his way to Ocelot off the back and give and go to Panarin. Meets still here with an opportunity. Shot over to Rodeo with a shot. Not quite able to send that one in. Panarin there steals it away. Ocelot with a hammer. Shoots. He scores. Ocelot, the last one in contact, credits it with the goal. And what a shot from his own zone. Goes right past Skyler in between the uprights. And the kick is good. 2-14 remain in the second. And Miami's up 4-3. Itzo off the backhand finds Kyler. Let's listen in on the Miami side of the comps. See what's going on over there. Same. Off wall. Oh, oh, oh good try. Good try. Good try. Good. I'm on tyrant. Yeah, yeah, watch. I can't. Alright, you're good. Pompe, go, go. I'm gonna go try for yes. Watch Aussie. That was a really good pump. Nice. Oh, I don't boost. Fine. Watch out. Just off him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Same. Oh, nice I tried to bump. Try. We're good. I got yeah. it. Nice. Yeah. Cross me? Uh, unlucky. Keep fighting. Yeah. I'm back for you. Yeah, cross. Nice. Yeah, tell you. Me up. Quick. Cross. Ah, uh, he's cutting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can play it. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, you got me. Ha. You have reports. I've got fucking. Back to you. Yeah. Rapping, maybe? Middle one. Nice. nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot, Subby. <laughs> An absolute dimer of a goal. Meatsail with absolute broken ankles down in the corner. He just showed Panarin what's what. And I'm I'm flabbergasted at the amount of finesse in that play. And they just, just didn't really celebrate all that much. <laughs> I would have thrown my chair across the room if I was on that team. 30 seconds remain in the second period of action. Meatsail. Rodeo with a shot opportunity comes down to Panarin. Able to bank that one off, off the glass. My English is about that of a turtle. Tyler, out to meet sale. Forehand shot. Shooting. Goes over the netting. What a save by Panarin. Rodeo, keeping this play alive towards the top side. Looking for a pass back to the point. But Panarin, staying on his tail, keeps that puck loose. Takes away that passing opportunity. Ten seconds remain. Top side boards. The battle continues. Meet sale for the vice. Panarin wins this one away for the Clappers. Aaron going to let that one go. That's the end of the second. Let's take a look at the tail by the numbers. Miami up 5-3. Up in shots to seven. And possession time passes pretty even. A lot more even than I thought it was going to be. Taking a look at, you know, just just how much the Clappers really control that second period of action. You know, Miami Vice, Clappers, both of them scoring two goals in that last period of play. They, they found a way to tie each other up. And I think the Clappers might start to get the, the Vice's phone number throughout this first game. This is the feeling out stage. We'll see which team does it better here at the end of these next five minutes of slap shot as we get our third period of action underway. Here's Kyler, back in his own zone, taking his time towards the top side of the ice, leaning, looking to rock with it, gets past Tyron K off the forehand, over to Meatsell, lobs it, goes over to Rodeo, nice shot, but Panarin with a beautiful save. Panarin dumps this one out of the zone, here's Kyler getting a touch on this one, leaving that one go. Battle along the near side boards, tries to get this one out. Panarin able to find its way off the stick of Tyron K. Taking his time back in his own zone, throwing topside over to finding Ocelot out at the far side point of the Miami's territory. Throws this one down low. Kyler reads it, throws the top side. Here's Pete Meat Sale with an out off the forehand. Looking for the shot. Hits the post. Almost able to send it packing. Not quite able to find the luggage. Kyler with the backhand. Trying to drive in. Tyron K turns him away. Panera in there to take charge for the Columbus Clappers. Trying to drive down the near side. Rodeo finds his way over to Kyler. Kyler trying to dangle out. Finds a way down the near side off the forehand. Gets it out to Rodeo. Shooting. Scoring! They make it 6-3 and the Miami Vice have the lead. 4 7 remain. What an absolute dime. Throws it right on his tape. Right where he wants it. Gets it in the bread basket. And what a beautiful backhanded shot that was. Kyler off the backhand. Shooting. Nice save by Panarin to the top side of the crease. Rodeo getting a touch on this one. Back for the Miami Vice. Meat, meat sale. Driving on the top side. Rodeo here with a pass over to Kyler. Shooting. Hits the near side post. Not letting the play die, but shot out by Ocelot. Down the full 200 foot of ice. 
Meat sale. Back behind his own cage, down towards the near side, leans with it, finds its way over to Kyler, off the forehand, looks to take it down the near side boards, yet again over to Rodeo, out at the point, hits the tape, but off the tip of the stick, goes wide. Ocelot to Panarin. Clappers on the defensive end, trying to advance towards the left. Off the backhand, trying to get through Meatsale, not able to dangle him out. Meatsale with a shot off the near side and wide. Rodeo getting a touch on this one, trying to get this one down low. Panarin doing his best work. Get his time with the stick. Off the backhand. Ocelot towards the top side point. Off the backhand, not quite able to beat out Meatsale. Rodeo with possession, knocked loose by Ocelot. Here's Kyler. The defensive retreat, Meatsale. Making the give and go. No, he does indeed have a little give and go. There's a little hesitation in that. The stutter step was extremely effective. Rodeo here with a nice battle up against Panarin. Sent down near side for the Clappers. Osloth. And back behind his own cage. Here's Panarin with it now. Panarin towards the top side. Cross crease action. Able to find Osloth down the near side. Advances past both center lines. Looking for the pass to Tyron Cage. Just over a stick though. Rodeo out the other way. Shot saved by Panarin out at the slot. Aaron, taking his time. Let's take a listen in on the Columbus Clappers comms. I'm going to try to shoot this. Okay. Oh. Push? Not sure. I'm gonna bring this back if I can. Right. Okay, that one like went through my stick or something. What's sick? Oh, that was not what I meant to do, holy fuck. Nice turn. Nice try. Alright, we're gonna put some pressure here. Oh, my bad. Alright. At a minute 33 remaining in this third and final period of regulation. Clappers down three to six. He's still trying to advance that one on the offense. Panarin topside out to Ocelot, trying to get that one through the blue line. Panarin takes charge at the point, shoots, hits the crossbar and down. Ocelot with an opportunity goes over to Panarin. Panarin off Meatsell. Meatsell holds the W key. He's going to shoot. He's going to score seven, three Miami with a minute 13 remaining. Meatsell, beautiful read on that play. Panarin looking across the point to Ocelot. And that one, he'll reap the benefits for. Iron K, taken to the top side, off the forehand, looking for the shot over to Panarin. Panarin with a shot, not quite able to get past Rodeo. It's Iron K with an opportunity, goes off meat sale. Rodeo over to Kyler, down into the corner. The battle continues. Ocelots with a minute remaining here in the third. Tries to find his teammate top side. Here's Tyron K looking for the shot, but not quite able to get it through. Kyler in the corner, over to meat sale. Battle continues, two on two. Kyler brings this one down towards the near side, just gonna rag it out a little bit, boot along the way, but they are winning. They have nothing left to prove with 45 seconds remaining. The four goals are the difference. Ocelot, pass one, not able to get it past Kyler on the backhanded attempt over to Rodeo. No, Panarin with a nice steal away. Gets possession back for the Columbus Clappers. Panarin towards the top side corner, taking his time, trying to get this one out along the far side boards. Brings it down to the near with a whip out and around town. Finds his way over to Ocelot. Ocelot driven down the near side, thrown down Broad Street. Kyler with a shot, scores! He makes it 8-3. For the Miami Vice. Only 24 seconds remain here in the third period of action, and I think we have found our victor. Aaron K along the top side board trying to get this one out of the neutral zone. Meat sale there trying to keep it there. Rodeo knocks it loose. Ocelot off the forehand, trying to take this one topside. Rodeo there, pokes that one loose. Here's Kyler along the topside corner. Five seconds remain. Tyron K over to R Panarin. Panarin just gonna let this one go down the near side, and that's gonna do it. That's the end of the first period. Game number one going to the Miami Vice. Goal scorers of this first match of the best of three. For the Miami Vice, we have Meatsale with three, Rodeo with three, and Kyler with two. And for the Columbus Clappers, one goal apiece. Panarin, Ocelot, Tyron K all sharing the load. But Panarin, all nine saves for the Columbus Clappers, and what a match at that. one nothing is the score, and the Miami Vice have the lead. We'll see if they're able to hold it as we continue on throughout the series.
it looks like both sides of the ice ready to rock, ready to roll back into game number two in this best of three. We'll take it down to the ice level and see how these two match up one against another now that they have felt each other out at least a little bit. Columbus Clappers on the right side, the Miami Vice on the left. Puck is dropped. The game is on here in our second game in this best of three. Here's Kyler. Back behind his own goal line. Take this one out. Iron K there to meet and greet him. Pass out into the neutral zone. Goes off of Panarin's tip of the stick. Down towards the near side boards. Panarin here with possession for the Columbus Clappers. Sent towards the top side. Ocelot sent down to the near. Panarin off the forehand. Down the near side board. Trying to get this one through. Meets sale. Shot off Kyler. Looking for the dime, but not able to throw that one on target. Panarin. Getting a hand on this one for the Columbus Clappers. Towards the top side of the crease. Back down left. No. Takes the top side. Looks for Tyron K. Kyler there with a nice steal away. Tyron K. Able to find his way back to his captain. And Aaron sent near side. Ocelot down the near side as well. Trying to get this one through the boards. Pe Rodeo with a nice steal away. Mitsil dangles his way through. But Ocelot in the nick of time. Comes out with the hip check. And he'll keep that one wide. Dump out goes off of Rodeo over to Kyler. Sent loose. Top side boards. Here's Panarin. Clappers territory with possession. One minute has elapsed here in this first period of action. And it's all come out. Interesting. I don't I don't know what else really isn't much to talk about after that first minute. Kyler. Tyron K. Towards the top side of the point. Trying to get this one through for the Clappers. Kyler taking his possession. Taking it down the near side. Taking his time. Back behind his net. Not any impeding danger. So there's really not any rush to the match. Kyler. Rodeo. Looking for the shot out top side. Looking for the slot. Not able to send it packing as it hits the top side of the cage. Goes wide. Rodeo getting a hand on this one out in front. Finds Kyler. Kyler here trying to dangle pass through the crowd, but not able to get past Ocelot. Kyler down the near side red line trying to get this one through. Hits Tyrant K as well as Panarin. Panarin there stealing away for the Clapper. Sent top side over to Ocelot. Ocelot up against Meat Sales. Sends his one top side from the point. Not able to get the shot off. Rodeo up against Ocelot. The board battle continues. Shot out of the zone. Kyler retrieving this one for the Miami Vice. Trying to get this one top side off the forehand along the boards. Meat Seal with it now. Bringing this one down and around town. Kyler there with possession sent down the near side. Meets off the back end. It's Panarin over to Kyler. Kyler finds a loose, loose puck on his stick. Sends this one down and in. Let's listen in on the Clappers' comms as they try to start the breakout. Um, hey, that? I can't. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I got it. I got it. Your bonus is too free. My fault. In your room. Go back, back. Around. Yeah, yeah. Get me back again if you need it. Yeah. Jesus, bro. Okay. Nice, good job, meat. Nice, good. Good job. I'll fall. I got you. I'm crashing. Good try. Good to keep botting. Uh, I can give you, yeah, you, yeah. you. Yeah. Jeez, I'm deep. Bro. Do you want to rip it? Oh, oh my god. Good try. I don't expect that at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got. Your bumps. Jeez, man, my stick is just not moving. Uh, I'm off. Well, good okay. luck. Yeah. I got it. You want me wide open yet? Oh my god. Hi there. Got it. That was clapping already over there. Tyrant will turn just to get his chest. That was my that special was sick, day. bro. And with that being said, Miami Vice take the lead here in game number two. one nothing, with a minute 37 remaining here in the first period of action. Here's Skyler taking this one out behind his own netting, trying to get this one down the near side off the forehand. Scoops it out, looks for Mitsiel, connects with him. Over to Rodeo, not able to finish off the tic-tac-toe. Kyler back at his own zone down the near side, trying to get this bank pass over to Mitsiel, over to Rodeo. Stolen away by Panarin. Panarin with one man to beat, three on one, shoot, scores! The Columbus Clappers have tied it up in the first period of action. 118 remaining, and we have a 1-1 one, one score. Panarin taking this one back on his own end. Down the near side, tries to beat out Mitsil. Not able to do so. Mitsil stick checked away by Panarin just as he was lining up his putt. Not able to get it quick enough. Tyron K with an opportunity goes down the near side. Stolen away by Kyler. Shooting hits a Panarin in nice save. In beautiful possession. Takes his one down the full length of the ice. Rodeo down the near side corner in his own zone. Pressured up by Tyron K. Ocelot. Kyler there trying to help out his teammate. Rodeo off the back end. Stopped up by Ocelot. The Jimmies have been jammed. Kyler finds the puck on his stick towards the top side of the ice. Brought down behind his own goal line yet again. Tyron K. Ocelot there on the back check. Trying to set up the neutral zone trap. 
Radio getting a touch on this one. Kyler down into the corner, trying to take it off the hip. Tyron K here down the, towards the near side, stopped up by Kyler. Stolen away. Top side up for Miami. Finds Rodeo off the forehand, back in, not able to take possession. Aaron down in the corner, trying to start this breakout. 26 seconds remaining here in this first period of action. Aaron has the puck. Off meat sale on that dump out. Goes off Kyler. Kyler here off the back end, finds Rodeo with a shot. Nice save by Panarin. Aaron in the top side corner, setting up for the boys in the navy blue. 12 seconds remain. One last offensive drive. Ocelot down in the near side. Finds its way towards Siren K, but not able to send that one on. Kyler getting that one wide sent up. Top side to Meatsale. Meatsale here off the back end with one shot attempt, but that's not going to make it through. That's the end of the first period of action here in the second game in this best of three. 1-1 one, one is the score, and it can't get much closer than that. Shot totals are what to be expected. I, I thought the Columbus Clappers would have had a, at least a little more possession time. Um, but we'll see how they continue to lean with it, how they continue to rock with it. Both teams ready to rock and roll back down onto the ice level. One one's the score. Miami on the left. Clappers on the right. Five more minutes underway as the puck is dropped. The game commences. See which one of these teams claim to be the better horse at the end of this race. Panarin down towards the near side, taking his time. Rodeo there, eyeing him up out of the blue line. Panarin down to the near side, gets a hand on this one off the forehand. Shot off Rodeo. Locked down near side. Here's Kyler with it now for the Miami Vice. Kyler down towards the near side, trying to get this one through. Let go. Not sure what happened there, but Tired K <laughs> finds himself goal number two for the Columbus Clappers. Looks like Kyler looked to dump it out off the forehand, but not able to get the stick lift down back on the ice as he tried to bring it back around off the forehand. And um, that's just unfortunate. But the Clappers, feeling very good about it. They got the lead, and it's by one. It's an F in chat if I've ever seen one. Ocelot here off the back end. Hits Meat Sale towards the top side of the ice. Meat Sale with a shot on target. Saved by Panarin. Rodeo trying to make life difficult. Panarin able to dangle his way through with ease. Bank pass over to Ocelot off the forehand. Not able to shoot that one on. Maybe he was looking for Tyron K. Maybe he wasn't. Who's to say? Except the man himself. Rodeo down low. Meat Sale finds it in the corner. Off the back end forehand towards the top side of the ice. Trying to find a passing lane over to Kyler. Shoot scores! What a goal! Absolutely domination! Let's go. I knew. Let's go. Glad to come. Got it back. Keep going. Words of encouragement in the Miami Palms and oh my gosh, absolute Nickelback concert out there as he just put it right on the tape. Kyler couldn't have asked for a more special pass, more perfect pass. We have a 2-2 game. The setup. Rodeo off the backhand, out in front, hits meat sale, shot, I, hits the side of the post. It goes wide. Rodeo out in front. Not able to find a pink jersey to take control of that one. Nice shot by Kyler with a beautiful save from the feet of Ocelot. Here's Meatsale off the back end. On target. Nice block away by Panarin. Panarin here down low in the corner. Let's take a listen on what the Columbus Clappers have to say about it. Shoot it, Ocelot. Oh, nice shot, Ocelot. I got it. Yeah. Go on, go back. Fuck. Yeah. Stay with that. Nice. <laughs> what are you playing fucking soccer? Ronaldo and the priest. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's tragic. That's fine. Well, that got awkward very quickly. Um, Miami Vice have found the lead. 3-2. Clappers looking to get this one right back. 2.36 remaining here in the second period of three here in game number two. Rodeo with a forehander looking for meat sale. Not able to find its way through the crease. Rodeo not able to get a hand on that one. Kyler here down towards the near side getting a touch on it. Kyler breaks it away. Shooting. Hits the corner. What a save by Panarin off the ear. And he keeps the score the same. One goal, still the difference. Tyron K looking to nullify it. Down the near side, trying to drive his way on. Meat Sailor stopping him up along the near side boards. Panarin there works his magic. Goes off Tyron K. Tyron K trying to drive it through. Rodeo sent wide down to Kyler. Kyler now for the Miami Vice drive. Down the near side, trying to get that one through. Traffic Meat Sail doing his best work. But not able to beat out Panarin. Shot saved away by uh, Kyler. Tyron K 
Kyler, battle up along the blue line. Kyler wins it away off the back end, just off the near side wide. Here's Rodeo, leaving that one go. Ocelot finds its way through the neutral zone with a backhand opportunity, but not able to beat out Kyler's tip of the stick. Kyler, back behind his own goal. Looks for a whip down the near side, finds it off Meatsell, shooting, hits the near side post and wide. Just Panarin down low behind his own goal line, pressured up by Rodeo from the Miami Vice, trying to get a hand on this one. Aaron steals it away. Off to Ocelot. Down on the near side. Driving on. Off the back end. Not able to feed it. Meat sale. Possession. Down the near side. Just out of the reach of Kyler. Goes out the full 200. Panarin down towards the near side. Driving out. Goes off the back end. Not able to find a teammate. Tyron K. Down low. Trying to get this one out in front. Pressure it up along the boards. Kyler. Tyron K. Do battle with the sticks. Kyler comes out with possession. Ford now. Sandwich between two Clapper players. Ocelot steals it away. Back to the defensive end. Here's Panarin with it now. Aaron tries to deke his way through. Rodeo not quite able to do it. Stick would not drop. Aaron K driven down the near side. Trying to get this one into the offensive zone. Sent back to Meat Sale. Still here on the Vice territory. Tyron K there stops him up. Making his, making his life a little bit more, you know, eventful. Tyler feeds it into the offensive zone. But Panarin there will pick up the loose puck. With 45 seconds remaining in the second. Dumps this one out. Rodeo gets a touch on this one. Kyler there with possession. Kyler down towards the top side of the glass. Here's Meat Sale with it. And back to Kyler. Kyler behind the Miami netting. Takes this one down near side for a walk. Tyron K down in the corner to meet and greet him. 30 seconds remaining. Kyler towards the top side of the ice. Goes off Osloth on that dump out attempt. Rodeo here after this one with a backhander. Goes off Tyron K out to the near side. Face off Dodd Panarin out to the crease. Nice shot, but Kyler blocks it away into the offensive zone. Kyler gets this one top side. Meat sale here off the back end. Tries to throw this one out in front. Rodeo trying to get a swing on that one. Panarin with a nice shot, but Meat sale in the nick of time. Takes that one off the jaw. Itzel takes this one back behind his own net. Looks to just rag it out for the remaining three seconds. Panarin with a shot off the far side, and it goes wide. Unfortunate. But yet we move into the second period with a one goal difference. We'll see what this third and final period of regulation has in store for us. Will the Columbus Clappers make a comeback and force a game number three? Or will the Miami Vice take home that final spot? and take their opponent up against the Toronto Penguins. That much and more with the next five minutes of slap shot to be played here in this third and final minute of regulation. Miami Vice out. It's Tyron K. Tyron K with a backhander. Looking for the shot. Scores! What a goal! Let's go, Tyron. <laughs> Playoff T. Playoff T. I'm back. Okay, come on, guys. We got this. Winnable. Fivers getting amped up in the VC with... Just 10 seconds elapsing off that clock. Whenever that goal went in, we have a tie ball game and a new game at our feet. Meets it with a shot, hits the post. Unfortunate. Aaron out the center avenue. Look for the shot off the forehand down to Osloth. Osloth here with a hand on it down in the corner, trying to get this one towards the top side. Off the backhand, not able to beat out Meets Hill. Kyler trying to get a hand on it. Osloth keeping this one down low. Eats it. Panarin with a shot. Nice save by Tyron K. I think it went off Tyron K. Shot scores! <laughs> Oh, what a nice. shot by Meat Sales. Sends nice. it between the uprights. Thanks, Dar. Yeah, Dar. Shoot! Oh, I'm not muted? How long have I yeah, not been muted? muted? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was. Alright, cool. That's That was supposed to happen. <laughs> anyway, 4 3. Miami Vice have the lead. I, I'm sorry if I blew any of your eardrums out. Ah, SMH my head, bro. <laughs> Three fifty-six remaining. Third period of action. Miami Vice have the lead. Ah, oh, my face is redder than the apples I picked this morning. Kyler down the near side boards off the back and sends this one top side. Me still. How many things have I said that they have heard? I don't. The knee slapper, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Rodeo with a shot off the near or off the far side and wide. Here's Kyler. Off the backhand, lost over to Panarin, taking this one towards the top side of the ice, trying to get this one out of the zone. Rodeo off the forehand, not quite able to get that one through. Iron K, lost to Rodeo. Rodeo down the near side, shot back towards his own crease, hits the pipe, and goes just wide. Ocelot, off the backhand, trying to keep this one alive for the Clappers. Clappers, along the top side point, Panarin takes this one back towards the defensive end. Meat sale hot on his tail, 314 remaining here in this third period of action, down the near side. Here's Panarin. Whips this one to the top side out and around town. Ocelot off the back end. Stopped up by Rodeo. Controlled beautifully back for the Clappers. There's Panarin down the near side. Meets Hill eyeing him up. Shot down the near side. Goes past Tyron K. Kyler finds a bank pass over to Meets Hill. Not quite able to take possession. Panarin down on his own zone. Throws it top side. Ocelot out at the point. Not able to get that shot through Rodeo. Here's Meets Hill with it now. 
Iso off the back end trying to get this one topside. Out of the zone goes past Tyron K. Osloth with a beautiful possession looking for the shot. Goes down towards the near side. Panarin off the back end trying to get this one through. Goes off Meat Sale. Meat Sale here off the forehand. Us to Panarin. Panarin keeping this one beautifully for the Columbus Clappers. They're down by one and they need a goal sooner rather than later. Tyler towards the top side. Ivy Vice here on the breakout. Finds Meatsell off the back end. Stumbled upon by Panarin down the length of the ice. Rodeo here off the back end. Send over to Meatsell. Shot off to the far side. Over to Kyler. Kyler here with an opportunity. Out in front looks for Rodeo. Not able to find him. Here's Meatsell up along the top side of the board. It's 2.15 remaining in the third period of action. And we have a one goal separation. Aaron takes his time for the Clappers. Clappers here on the breakout. Looking to start this one true. Off the forehand, meat sale. They're stealing it away off the near side. Osloth coming back to help out his captain. Throws his one down the length of the ice. Here's the Miami Vice with possession now. 154 remaining here in this third and final period of regulation. Shot by meat sale off the far side. Comes down to Rodeo. Rodeo here with a feed out in front. Osloth with beautiful possession. Goes off Rodeo. Back into the neutral zone. Here's Kyler with it. Let's take a listen. And no, it's shot. Scores! They found a way. Four, four. We actually take this. Love those. I'll try to win it back. Where's by Panarin? 1.40 remaining. We take those. We have a tie ball game and a fresh start from here on out. 1.33 remain in this third period. Third and final period of action. Maybe we'll see overtime. No, Meatsell has other things to say. What a shot. What a goal. 1.30 remains. Kyler feeds it through. Osloth gets some of it, but not enough. And that one just squeaks by somehow, someway. Phases through Panarin. We have the one goal lead back in the system. There, towards the top side, off the forehand, shoots this one down. Not able to find it to come to fruition. Here's Osloth along the top side board, trying to drive this one in. Not quite able to get it through the traffic. Kyler able to find Meatsill. Meatsill here off the back end. Leans towards the top side of the ice. Off the back end, shoots it out to Kyler. Nice feed, but Osloth gets a loose puck. Shot towards the nets. Looking for the goal. What a save by Meatsill. As the crowd on the edge of their seat, shot. One minute remaining. What a save by Panarin. Aaron taking this one out behind his own goal. Looks for the shot down the near side. Not able to snipe it in. Rodeo making his life difficult. Takes away the shot opportunity. Goes off Ocelot. The top side of the boards. Tyler down in the corner. Trying to get this one. Session for the Miami Vice. Sandwich between two Clapper players. Out to Panarin. Panarin here trying to get this one back under his own control. 37 seconds remain. They got to get a drive going. Rodeo off the back end. Trying to throw this one out to Kyler. Kyler getting a hand on this one. Taking this one back under his own control for the Miami Vice. Back behind his own net. Just waiting his time, abiding his paces down the near side. Kyler finds Rodeo. Stolen away. Panarin with a shot. Not able to get past Kyler. Kyler down the near side. Rodeo. Or Panarin getting a touch on this one. 17 remaining. Panarin bank pass top side. Finds Tyron K. Kyler sends it into his own corner. He throws the top side. Needs to with a shot. Goes back behind the Clappers netting. Panarin takes it out in front of his own crease. Plays with fire. Trying to get this one down the near side. Three seconds remain. Panarin shoots. Goes off. Needs And it's over. That's the end of the series. Two. Nothing sweet for the Miami Vice. What a series. And the Clappers have been dethroned. Holy cow. Nobody believed it would happen. But the impossible just happened. Heat sale, rodeo, Kyler took down the tyrants, took down the titans, took down the overlords of SPL. What a game. What an effort. What a match. Goal scorers of that secondary game for the Columbus Clappers, Tyrant K with a hat trick, Panarin with one. Panarin also having eight of the ten saves for the Columbus Clappers and for the Miami Vice. A hat trick plus one. Meatsale had four goals out of his nine shots. Kyler had one in Rodeo. Also tallying on two shots of his own. What a beautiful series. And going in into the finals, we have the Toronto Penguins. We have the one, the only, the Miami Vice. I, I'm excited. Finals are going to be a best of five. And what better teams to take on one another rather than the first and the second seed. Good game. What a match. High fives all around. And we proceed. It's only Friday. It's only Thursday. It's only Thursday. What? <laughs> it's only Thursday. Plenty of time to get the finals in. When it'll happen, who's to say? Um, rumors have been in the air, but none of them have been confirmed, so I won't throw any of that out there. But... Let's take a listen on the Miami Vice. 
So how's it feel to be the ones to dethrone the clappers? <laughs> Amazing. Feels great, yeah. True. A long time coming. <laughs> True. So now like, slap on. Like two years, you know? <laughs> yeah. Two years of getting farmed. So even if you guys lose to Toronto, I assume you're going to be pretty happy with what's happened. Eh, no, I we're mean, not losing. It was yeah. Yeah. Not losing. <laughs> no, we're not losing. No. I mean, after that, you know, nobody's got. You're the you're the crowd favorite now, so you know, you got to live up to those expectations. Yeah. But uh, do we have any it's rumors when this game's gonna be? This next series? Um, they wanted tomorrow, but we can't do it. Um, so I I offered lemon Sunday or Monday at nine thirty. Hopefully, it's, Sunday would be cool, but yeah, no options. So yeah, we'll see. I'm trying to pull chat for questions, but they're not giving me. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good series. I. How long was yeah. I unmuted? I need to know this. How many things no, have I said that first, you heard? <laughs> it's weird because the first times you joined, you weren't. It was only that time you were unmuted. Yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> See, once, you, once you got unmuted, when you, if you hit a button or something, I don't know. We'll blame M Dub. <laughs> Yeah, blame yeah. M Dub. That's, okay, that's, that's, that's money. <laughs> blame M Dub. <laughs> Wipe your hands clean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how would you Drop. say that Seppi contributed to uh, to your win? Oh, he's huge. Uh, he's, Three yeah, buys, I mean, yeah. Without Seppi, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, everyone's asking this question. Will T play the next game? No, he won't. He's, he's not on our team. He's not on the team. You mean Oscar? Yeah, will Oscar play next game? <laughs> oh, Oscar? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. All right. Or guy. He wants to, but I don't know if I love I, I love the yeah. guy, but you know, it's yeah. like it's we gotta, Yeah, we gotta focus yeah, up here. Panther could drop eight in a period at any moment. So <laughs> yeah, it's very it's cold. Cold. You gotta be focused. We'll pour one out for Oscar tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Oscar. Uh yeah, congratulations on the win. I wish you good luck in this next finals matchup yeah. of the, of the playoffs. Yeah. Um yeah, I got nothing else. I thought I had something rolling off the tongue, but my mind's went blank. But uh, yeah, good luck. Um, have fun. Bye. Thanks, man. Thank all I know, all I know in the game is. Yeah, yep. But uh, with that being said, um, that's going to do it here this evening on the SPO Network. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast. It's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I'm sure if you DM the captains, they'll be sure to happy to, you know, give your, your Steam, Steam a sign. Don't quote me on that. I don't want to have to answer to it. But uh, yeah, the Voodoo play tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Not sure if Clifford said he wants to cast the uh, the challenger matches, so I might let him do that. Um, maybe not. I don't know. If I'm available, I'll take it. The Typhoons, the Voodoo, taking on each other tomorrow. Time still being pending. I, I don't I don't know if it's on the site or not. I don't have the site on. Uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be a fun one. It'll be a good one. The Challenger Promotional Series bound to be underway. If you haven't seen what that looks like, check the website. I think it might be on there. If not, um, it's definitely in the Discord under the Challenger announcements. We'll uh, we'll see how this one plays out. Yeah, tomorrow Typhoons Voodoo. First game of the Challenger Promotional Series to be underway. Be a good one. You're not gonna want to miss it. Whether it's me, whether it's Clifford. It's to be determined. Keep an eye on the broadcast channel in the SPL Discord, where every time one of our matches go live, always a good, enjoyable moment. And uh, yeah, with that being said, that's going to do it here on the SPL Network. I'm Darth. Thank you for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you next time.